I'm Colin Streetman with FaithDefenders.com. With me here today is the president of Faith Defenders, Dr. Robert Morey himself. Now, Dr. Robert Morey has five doctorates, one in Islamic studies, one in divinity, and three others. Doctor, if you'll tell us about those. Well, enough degrees to, I'm a thermometer, but it has to do with world religions, the cult, the occult, apologetics, theology, philosophy, things of that Now, nature. one of your expertise on, on Islam, um, you've been asked to consult with the FBI. With oh, I worked with the FBI, Naval Intelligence, uh, Home Security, I dealt with terrorism, and I'm happy to say I did my part as a loyal American, and some of the Muslims who ended up in Guantanamo Bay, I fingered them, and I exposed them as being jihadists. And you must understand, I have no personal axe to grind. Islam is a world religion that has its own teachings and history and background, and that's why I earned a PhD in it, and I have two books. Um, various editions, they're in different languages. We have about nine languages for Islamic invasion. Okay. And how to win the war against radical Islam, which is written for governments and armies and politicians. So uh, you can check at faithdefenders.com and get a hold of these books. And then the lectures, the debates, as far as I know, uh, I have debated more Muslim scholars in academic settings, University of South Carolina, etc. And uh, you can find that material on faithdefenders.com. So I think what's most important to underscore about what the doc just went over is that it's not just other Christians who view his expertise as Islam as being paramount. It's also governmental agencies, academic institutions. Military like, people. Right. Yes. So it's not like this is just, oh, this is just Bunch what the preachers. preachers. Right. No. Well, take this book. This is a book written specifically to governments. And that's winning the war against radical Islam. Yeah, what can a government do? What can the government of the United States or France, and it deals with strategy for war, including psychological warfare. Uh, for example, uh, during uh, the Gulf War, both with Papa Bush and Baby Bush, uh, I don't know if you know this, but they dropped uh, leaflets and planes over the cities and with cartoons and other information and it was psychological warfare. I have copies of that in my file huh. from soldiers who brought it back to me. Psychological warfare means what can you do to demoralize your enemies and hopefully paralyze them.